you had a, a, a good run of investing in yourself yeah. uh, or your parents investing and then billing for you later, uh, billing you later. Um, but you had to invest that money in yourself. Uh, you di it could have resulted in nothing, but you had to do it and you did it. Yeah. And um, so, you know, when people s say, you know, there's no investment in songwriting, it's, you know, it's whatever, it's lazy, you guys are lucky, you know, oh. it's just simply not true. No, I mean, the thing is, Here's the thing. You can, you know, there's, there's different ways of writing songs, right? I mean, there's people, and you probably, many of you sat in panels with a lot of people who've had a couple of hits and who are great and who say, like, I wrote that in 10 minutes, you know? Um, and, and that does happen. You know, that's not, uh, you know, it's a very valid thing, and I'm not, you know, there are people that write a song a day, and it happens that they write, you know, the clock is always right two times a day, right? And they'll write a hit, and then, bam. I just come from the school because I came from sort of Max Martin school of, you know, you do it to learn to do it on purpose, right? And that takes time. You know, it takes time to do it. But the result is that you're consistent, you know? I've now had a good amount of years of like consistently writing hit songs. I don't write a lot of songs, but when I do, luckily, you know, they've been, they've, they've worked. And, you know, I, I, I love that way of doing it because I think especially with the, with the battle that we all face, you know, um, I don't know if some of you were at the panel before regarding the legislation and things like that. You know, it's going to be a lot harder for us to earn a living. So you want to be able to do it on purpose. Because if the payment method changes, for example, you know, if it becomes like the way producers get paid and the songwriter gets paid to be in the room, which might happen, you know, it, it, you never know, it might happen. Um, you, they're not going to pay you unless you've been consistent. Uh, one of the great lessons you know, from the great Max Martin was, is, you know, what always works is a melody. That's timeless. Melody is timeless. You know, you can dress it up in whatever production you want, but if it's a great melody, for those of you that are songwriters, if you can, if you can figure that out, um, if you can sort of focus on melody and m write great melodies, you can last because you can always have, an, the, the sonics change, right? So you can always find the next generation of beat guys when your guy gets old, or if you, if, if you don't feel you're fresh enough, you can always find another guy to do it. But if you, if you can be the person writing the, the great melodies, that will always be needed. Um, and language changes, and what's cool changes, or what you say, but melody is, is forever. Um, that's always been consistent. That's the thing I learned when you, when you really break down the biggest songs ever, is they just all have great melody. So. Can you give me like an, an average, like how, how long do you spend on a song average? Can you do that? Um, it's different and it's, um, it, it's different every time. I mean, me and sort of our, our camp, you know, we've, we've gotten into this thing where, yeah, prob probably like a week or two, I think. Sometimes the melody comes quick, but we, you know, now I've been lucky enough to have great people around, so we, we're constantly picking it apart, and so we can do it a little faster. We can get it in a couple days sometimes, but we're constantly challenging every word and every lyric and every chord up until the end.